Hello and welcome to Inspirational Pixels, I'm Seb and in this quick tip video I'm going to show you how to perfectly center an element with the transform and translate property. So first let's open up a text editor and as you'll see I've created a simple reset and some divs here. Uh, we've simply got a parent element and a child element and what we'll be doing is positioning the parent element relatively and the child element absolutely inside of it and then using transform to fix any problems. So first let's do that parent element. And we'll give it some basic width and height. We'll also need to position it relatively. And let's also give it a background colour. If we go back to our browser and have a look, as you'll see, it's styled, but we need to centre on the page. Let's use margin auto for that. Let's give it some margin from the top as well. There we go. Okay, so what we'll be doing to center the child element is we'll be using position absolute. So let's set that up and then I'll explain how the transform works. We'll be moving this 50 from the top and 50 from the left. And we'll also give that a background colour. Now, if we go back to our browser and have a look, you'll see that unfortunately it's gone 50 from the left of the side of the element, and the same has happened from the top, so it's not perfectly centered. Now to fix that, we'll be using transform. Now what transform does, or more specifically translate, you can actually move the element depending on its own size. So if we do minus 50%, that's from the left, and another minus 50%, that's from the top, what's actually happening is instead of moving 50 to the left, of its parent element, it's moving 50% of its own size. So if we refresh, and you can see it's perfectly centered. Now there is one slight problem with this. Safari browsers, like iOS browser and Safari on desktop, don't currently support transform as it is. So we will have to use a prefix, which simply works like this. Now you won't see any changes in the browser here, but if you were to look at this on Safari browser, you would see it fixed. Thanks for watching this quick tip on inspirationalpixels.com and keep coming back for more.